It's been possible for 20 years to go through tissue, and what I'm talking about is not an MRI, but to get subcellular resolution. What is new about this paper is before you had to introduce fluorescent compounds. That's not quite non-invasive because you need to be taking some foreign substances that may have some different effects. This microscopy uh, paper presents a label-free uh, method for microscopy. And then the next thing that is important is that it's um, highly selective. Through phase modulation, you are able to selectively excite different, uh, different, uh, um, different compounds and get a differentiation even though they have very small spectroscopic differences. This method is a way to shape the pulses so that one pulse excites primarily one species, the other pulse primarily excites the other species. When you run very quickly the comparison between the two and you just amplify the difference, then you get outstanding contrast that allows you even to quantify how much of each of the different compounds you're looking at. I think the first application is, for example, if you want to know how a drug penetrates a tissue, then you can use this to identify the drug versus non-drug and, and follow it. Uh, another way, for example, uh, is it cancer or non-cancer? Right now they have to cut the piece, take it to the pathologist, and, 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 and then they, they will, and the pathologist is going to go by morphology. The, the whole thing is non-invasive imaging and getting and, and, and detecting chemical differences, actually subtle chemical differences.